Hey kids, how are you doing and how's the Josh? As we are getting nearer and nearer to our aim that is cracking the 2020, I hope your Josh is also getting higher and higher. And especially boosted by the super duper series that we are bringing for you every week something new and the market are. So chalo, apna bio bomb series continue karte. That's how we meet every day in the evening, just before you hit the bed, with some concepts which are sure to come in the exam. And these super micro series of concepts will really help you do very well in your exams. So come, let's move ahead and let's do part 32 of the bio bomb. In part 32 of the bio bomb, I'm going to be discussing about vitamin B6. Sabse pehla question to yehi aata hai. Iska ek aur naam kya hai? Correct? B12 ko cyanocobalamin kehte hai. B1 ko hum thiamine kehte hai. Right? C ko hum ascorbic acid kehte hai. Correct? To B6 ko kya kehte hai? B6 ko kehte hai pyridoxin. Very important. Pyridoxin is very important as a coenzyme used in amino acid metabolism. So when you need to break amino acids, you require energy out of it. You need to metabolize the proteins and the amino acids. You need vitamin B6. So, but obviously, amino acids, proteins usually lead us towards the muscles. So, iski deficiency often causes muscular problems. So, the person is irritable, but apart from that convulsions, which is fits, right? Muscular twitching, there is not complete contraction, but little bit of contraction of the muscles like how it sometimes happens in the eyelids there is anemia also because hemoglobin is made up of heme and globin heme is the iron part but globin is a protein part right unstable gait so because the person does not have control over the muscles so the gait or the walk becomes unstable the feet are often numb and there is very poor motor coordination between speech, walking, right, left, side coordination is poor. So I repeat, it's referred to as vitamin B6 is referred to as pyridoxin. Nervous as well as muscular problems are often seen. The major dietary sources are non-vegetarian food, green leafy vegetables as well as whole grains, jowar, bajra, wheat, rice, whole grains ragi also is a very good source of vitamin b6 moving ahead what are the functions like i discussed right in the beginning the function is it is used as a coenzyme for amino acid metabolism so that finishes a very simple short and sweet bio bomb Sleep over it, think about it, put it in your subconscious mind, pyridoxin, diseases can definitely come in your MCQs. And as always, we come to the end of Biobomb, but my team says, make sure you like, share and subscribe to our amazing channel, We Biotonic. Bye!